right. That's enough fun for today. Welcome to another Ernie's Journeys where we answer the question, where will the journey take us? Today, the journey takes us here. We're at covered bridge number 27 in the town of Haverhill, New Hampshire. I'm on this road trip and we're on our way down to Tennessee, but in the meantime, we're stopping along the way and checking out some cool things that we find. Let's go see this covered bridge. So here in the town of Haverhill, there is a covered bridge. It was built in 1829 between these two towns. It's a 256 foot long bridge. It was bypassed in 1999, so it was actually still in operation for 170 years. Wow. So this is Haverhill. This is a little bit of what the town looks like. As you can see, there's a caboose over there. That's cool. And I guess that the bridge is somewhere this way. Let's go check it out. So we are in the town of Haverhill, New Hampshire. And we're over here by Ross Wood Post number 20, the American Legion. This is Amandusic Street. And just up ahead is this covered bridge. And I, I can't drive across it, obviously, so I had to park the car and walk over. And here it is. Look at this. Just remember, there is a $5 fine for riding or driving over this bridge faster than a walk. Built in 1827. There's a little bit more information about it. Cost $2,400 to build this bridge. Wow. Look at this. Look at all these creepy cobwebs and stuff. This is really cool. Oh man, look at all those cobwebs up there. It is October. It's Halloween. So it's good to see that the bridge is in the spirit of the season. I can't wait to see what that view looks like. I can't get up there to see what it looks like. How was it? Did it look cool? I think we're over a waterfall right now. I'm gonna go down this way and then I'll come back up this little walkway over here. Oop. Here's another one of those little windows. That's gotta look cool. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Maybe I can see what I was looking at. Oh, wow. That is, what a spectacular view. 
the cool shot. And this goes, winds up that way. Let's look out over the water on this side. You know, before I do that, I'm gonna see if I can get another view of those falls from this window. That is cool. Dina and Rick from Mystic, Connecticut were here in November of 2018. I wonder if they're still together. Dina and Rick, if you're still together, leave me a comment down below. Wow, what a cool little find. I mean, we were just, I was just driving down the road and saw the sign for the covered bridge and said, you know what, I'm gonna stop and check that out. And I'm so glad I did. So I guess the Raymond S. Burton Bridge took the place of the covered bridge. This is about as close as I can get. Can't really get a good view from this side of the bridge, but there it is, tucked away back there. I do have to say that I really like the clock tower here in downtown Haverhill. I guess this is downtown. I'm not quite sure. I've never been here before. Okay, so it doesn't seem that that is actually a real caboose. It looks like it's a kitchen store. Everything but the cook. Just like that, we are in Vermont. We just crossed over from New Hampshire into Vermont. <laughs> well, that was fun. We were on 302 in New Hampshire into Vermont now. Just left Woodsville and I believe we are in Wells. We're in, <laughs> we just crossed over from Woodsville, New Hampshire into Wells River, Vermont. This is it. This is the first time that Ernie's Journeys has been in Vermont, but it won't be the last time. We will definitely be coming back to Vermont. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. We're gonna continue our journey down south to beyond. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. New videos post every Tuesday and Thursday. Join us next time when we answer the question, where will the journey take us?